Catching up with Gary Hall Senior now, ahead of Friday night Stratton Cup meeting. Now, Senior, you have three runners in the feature event. King of Swings finally drawn barrier one. Uh, so is this his race? Yeah, well, let's hope so. Um, barrier one suits him, and uh, he did show a lot of gate speed when he led and held out. Um, there you go one night. He ran 34-7 lead time, and he ended up uh, running home in 26-8 from a similar draw. So I'm pretty sure he'll be leading. And, uh, he'll go well, I think. Uh, Gary Hall Jr. isn't named on him. He's named on your two other runners, but I'm guessing he'll be driving King of Swing? Yeah, he'll be on him, yeah. Uh, you've also got Mad Robber in six and Speedman in 11. How do you split that, uh, those two chances? Yeah, Speedman's better chance than Mad. Mad Robber went good last week, I think, but he needs to draw, he needs to lead, I'd say. And uh, Speedman, yeah, he'll be plugging away, but he also needs... They're, they're both sort of on-pace horses and they can't get there from there, so I'd say they'd be struggling. Pretty good race. Uh, Waylaid, Al Corelli, Simba Bromac. Uh, it's a full field as well, but you're pretty confident with King of Swing this week? Yeah, very, yeah. Just if he doesn't win this one, I'll... <laughs> you trainer like that, what you were saying the other day? Yeah, he's trainer, yeah. <laughs> uh, what about highly flammable, uh, very, very consistent, drawn in two? Yeah, probably. I don't know whether he can lead or not, but if he led, he'd be very hard to beat. Um, I don't know much about the gate speed of the one, but I should have met all the Donalds have got gate speed, so, and he always wants to lead, so I suppose he will. But uh, he'll be strong. He'll be putting pressure on on the outside, I'd say. And uh, he does does do well from that position anyway. So, uh, you know, he's a chance, I think. In race number three, Gary Hall Jr. is named on both of your runners, the Arsonist and Rob Stark. But the Arsonist has drawn one, so I'm guessing he'll be on him. Yeah, I haven't talked to him about it. I doubt it. I think he might uh, drive Rob Stark because he's he's been working pretty good. I'm a bit disappointed at the draw, but uh, he's still a chance from out there, Rob Stark, because he is working well. And I'm pretty sure Jr. will stick with him. Yep. First up from a spell, so it sounds like he's come back in really good order. Yeah, he had a few little problems, and we've uh, been, you know, looking after him and that, and he's been working really good, and I'm real happy with him. So, you know, like I was hoping for a draw, but he's still a chance from out there. Extreme Prince might need a little bit of luck from out there. A pretty good race out the basket and Carter Michael, smouldering ashes, so forth. Yeah, no, you'll need a lot of luck from out there. <laughs> he's, he's got to go back this week and sort of have an easy run because he's uh, had two real gut busters and. Don't want him to have that again, but yeah, no, it's not a good draw for him. Overboard again's an interesting runner. Only had the two runs last preparation, then tipped out for a spell. I don't think we've seen it since around April. Uh, what's the go there? Yeah, he's working good. He, he had a few problems um, with his knee. He split the knee open and, uh, you know, kept uh, get hitting it all the time. And uh, once they do that, they, it ends up a target for them. So uh, we've, we seem to have got on top of it now, and he's working really good. But that barrier's just about found him out, I'd say. Looks a winnable race in terms of the field, though, don't you think? Just a tough barrier? Yeah, just a barrier. He's working good enough to win, but the, the barrier's not good for him. Well, I think that's all your runners for Friday night. Can you steer us into a best bet? <laughs> have to be king of swing. Good luck. Yeah, I hate tipping him, but they have to be him. Thanks, mate. <laughs>